How's it going, Sin? Fucking awesome. It's been such a great day. Uh, it's nice and gray here, and we went frisbee golfing and had so much fun and had a couple beers, and I felt good. Well, that's great to hear. Thank you so much for your time. Um, and one thing I've learned <laughs> from Sin, tweeting with her over the last several days, and this is something that all um, people who wants to book her uh, and wants to work with her, she likes remind, she loves reminders. Um, definitely something to keep in mind when you book <laughs> Sin for your whether it's shoots, photo shoots, videos, whatever it is. She loves reminders, so remind her, and you will be satisfied. Oh, you will be set Very to true. Yes. Um, so, Sin, I've been a fan of your work for the last year or two. Mostly, you decided to get into the adult film industry. <laughs> um, well, let's see. I was, uh, you know, 18, 19, and, you know, honestly, I just always wanted to do it. I wasn't only a decision that I made. Um, I felt, I just, and I, when I was younger, like, this was laid more, they had all these tube sites, and, like, how easy it was to access on the internet, like, uh, back when I was wanting to do it, that wasn't a thing, <laughs> when I first started, there was no, you could barely get on the internet, much less, um, like, watch videos for free, <laughs> everyone can, uh, so, back then, I, I just, I knew, I knew that uh, I wanted to express myself sexually. I knew that I wanted to do something that made me happy and that was fun. And I knew that no matter what I didn't want to do, what everyone else does, kind of, I knew I didn't want that life. And um, so, yeah, it was, like a, it was just a flow towards what I wanted out of life. I've <laughs> kind of just always... Well, I will say this. It has worked out for you so far. You've become one of the big names in the industry. You, <laughs> you That's awesome. And uh, so that being said, you know, considering what you have done, what you have, have accomplished, what you have, the many of talented people you've worked with over the course of your career, like when you be nominated and then you go on to win, how does that feel? When your name is called and and after the hard work that you put in, in <laughs> 12 months prior, like how does it feel to be a two-time winner? Um, well, I have to say that uh, when I first started in the business, I n literally never imagined. I never conceived that I could ever win. Um, I knew that I was only doing girl-girl and the chances of winning that were low, and that used to be something that they didn't even, like, announce the winners for. Um, so I always knew that I did amazing work that was totally worthy of winning, but I knew that I, I wasn't doing the right kinds of things in order to win as far as just they usually favor girls that do boy-girl, you know? And um, not so much, like, the sort of real feeling stuff. Uh, that's how it used to be. Uh, things have changed a little bit, but... So when I actually won, I, I remember that I was nominated for a scene where I really felt like if I ever won, that would have been the scene when I finished it. And uh, But I still didn't believe it. I mean, people were saying to uh, to myself and Danny Daniels, like, you guys have a really good chance. And I was like, no, no. Uh, so I wasn't even paying attention when they were calling out the winners, and I had to, like, run down to the stage. I was so shocked and taken by surprise, and it was really, like, Definitely the highlight of my career and um, one of the most amazing feelings, just uh, really putting my heart, my soul, my life into what I do and um, like, you know, it's more than just a job for me, it's it's me and I put it out there and to get that recognition from the industry um, when I, I know a lot of times they don't recognize that that kind of stuff, um, that, that was... <laughs> And then an indescribable thrill, really. It it was uh, an amazing feeling that I never expected. So 
that was one of the highlights, not just of my career, but of my life. Well, congratulations um, for your two wins and your nominations. And, um, you know, I've been a fan, like I said, I've been a fan of yours for quite some time now. Um, so what do you consider, like, Obviously, people are known for a certain type of work, certain type of fetish, if you will. What are the type of fetish that you enjoy doing the most? Hmm. Um. I don't know, bro. Um. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> like whatever it is that I'm doing, that. I know it makes the most people happy. Um, I, I maybe like wrestling, like the more physical stuff, playing like roles. Like uh, love, I love doing like a knockout fetish where I can like anything that requires like more acting. Uh, that's probably my favorite. I really like acting, and I like playing little characters and roles, and that's sort of my favorite sort of fetish stuff. Okay. I I just want to point out that I am a wrestling fan and uh, I do watch yeah. the cust. Not I just don't just watch the wrestling on TV, but I watch the indie stuff and I watch the custom type of wrestling as well. When fans get to send out scripts and things like that, and I know I first heard of you actually it was through a a Canadian um, wrestler who you worked with in the past, Mutiny. Um, y'all did some work together, and then obviously you know mm -hmm. as your character Sin on X Club Wrestling mm -hmm. with uh, Alex. Oh yeah, and um, I love working with him. He's great. Shout out to Alex. He's got some great work there. Um, so as far absolutely. as absolutely, and I'd say uh, Alex and Sleeper Kid are my two favorite. That's also a great one. Too. Wrestling uh, sites to work for. Sleeper Kid is definitely awesome. I think I've bought plenty of his videos over the last couple of years. Always. Well, he's a really uh, he's he's a really good friend of mine, like a true and genuine friend of mine. Like he and his um, fiance came out to my wedding and stuff, and that was like a long flight. And so yeah, they're like some of my best friends for sure. And really fun to work for. That's absolutely awesome. Um, and it's and it's good. Not only you get to work with people that, and, but you built the friendships further than behind on the camera scenes. So that's definitely satisfying. So as far as 2016 is c concerned, Sam, what do you have in the works? Like any more upcoming videos, uh, clips, anything mm. you want to um, let people know about? Yeah, absolutely. Um, people should know that to find out everything that I'm doing ever, uh, they should go to sinsagemodel.com. Um, that's sin with two ends, and that will direct you to like right to my clip stores. I have clips for sale and manyvids.com. Um, so we've got all kinds of content on both of those uh, sites, and that's my newest, freshest stuff. Uh, that's stuff that uh, benefits me uh, directly and. Um, that I'm creating just for the customer. Um, follow me on Twitter always at, at Sensage. And um, yeah, I just like so I had a surgery. I had a hip replacement surgery actually in August, and I'm fully recovered from that and feeling just incredible. Uh, changed my life for the better in so many ways. Uh, so then uh, I've been sort of um, slowly like getting back in, trying to let people know I'm working again. So I've done a couple of videos that will be coming out, Sweetheart Video, uh, um, Third Degree, so that's the next few months, so keep an eye out for all that stuff. But just, uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter, you can always find out everything I'm doing, whether it's webcamming or shooting custom videos, which you can also buy from me, custom videos. Uh, my email address is sensage at gmail.com. And those are the main ways to support me directly and keep me going as a, an entertainer. Really show me the love and, and all that stuff. And see, uh, see my new content and whatever it is that you want to see. 
Most definitely follow her at Sin Sage. That's Sin as in two N's and Sage all put together, no underscores in between. She'll post all her content mm -hmm. on there. It seems like Twitter, they pretty much allow people to post anything, <laughs> unlike some of the social media mm -hmm. websites. <clears throat> Facebook. Yeah. I, like, I have an Instagram. It's Sin Sage 1 because my first account got shut down because there was, like, a nipple or something. So I still have it, but it annoys me. Um, but, yeah. And then just definitely SinSageModel.com. Check that out for sure. Let's talk Night Flirt for a moment because that's something I've noticed you've posted a uh, plenty of times uh, and for those who just so want to talk to sin so bad you know talk about night flirt mm -hmm. what's it all about and, and what can callers expect when they have a conversation with you yeah so uh, night flirt is a great site uh, when I was kind of recovering from my surgery that was a really really helpful way for me to get some income while I couldn't really be on video and it's um, wonderful to be able to talk to people. It's a little bit more, to me, I feel it's more intimate. Uh, I, I love webcamming, don't get me wrong, uh, sensage.cammodels.com to sign up. You can cam with me anytime. But uh, night flirt is a totally different thing. Uh, you just, you're talking to the person directly, you're hearing their voice, and it's great. What you can expect is that if you call me and you're very casual and you want to just kind of talk to me and ask me questions and keep it that way, I will follow you along those lines. If you call and you want to get sexy and have sexy time and you want me to talk dirty and you want to have a little fantasy, uh, we can we will do that too. So I kind of just follow I kind of um, follow the lead of the caller and if I feel like they want something more but they're a little too shy to talk about it then I'll try to draw them out of their shell and be like let's you know let's be a little more sexy here let's have a little more like kinky fun and uh, so yeah that's pretty much what you can expect I, I haven't been doing that as much lately I need to get on it and kind of turn on my night flirt thing more often so uh, just yeah, follow me on Twitter. You'll always know when I'm camming, when I'm night flirting, when I'm doing whatever it is I'm doing. I think I'm getting turned on by hearing your voice right now. Just thought I'd point that oh, out. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I can really turn on the voice uh, problem thing. <laughs> I can talk really sexy if I try. Mm, about, like, big butts and <laughs> hard dick. And my mouth on them. Oh. <laughs> I think, I think uh, that's going to be considered a highlight, and we're not even at the end of January yet. Um, that, <laughs> that may be a sound clip of the year. Sound clip nominee right there. But uh, Sam, nice. thank you so much for your time. Truly appreciate it. Um, great chatting with you, and uh, thank you for making my night, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Great to hear. No problem. Thank you so much as well. You have a good night. All right, you too. I'll talk to you soon, everyone. Have fun. <laughs> All right, Anna. Bye. Bye-bye. That was Sin Sage.